as Disney on Ice celebrates 100 years of magic. This is the biggest Disney on Ice show so far and it features more than 50 much-loved Disney characters. Stina Martini is Beauty and the Beast's Belle and she is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Stina. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Um, we want to get to know a little bit about you uh, in just a moment, but first of all, tell us about Belle. She must be a great role to play. Yeah, it's such an honour to portray this role. I love her. She's so kind and brave and curious. So, yeah. We're going to learn more about the show in just a minute. But, but how did you get into skating? Was it accidental? Did your parents make you do it? How did it happen? Uh, no, my family is actually not a typical skating family. Um, I started because I love to dress us as every girl, the sparkles. And since then, I couldn't stop, yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Austria. And what about your skating career? Where's that taken you? Um, I've been um, to big competitions like world competition and European competition. Wow, so what sort of things, what, what, what is it like when you're competing in those competitions? Is, it, is there a lot of rivalry or is it a lot of camaraderie? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, of course, it's a sport. Uh, as an athlete, you compete with the others. You, yeah, it's... You want to win. That's you want to win, yeah. Have, have yeah, you ever seen the movie I, Tonya? <laughs> of course I, I have. I you would have I enjoyed would say that. it's not that <laughs> OK, good. That helps put I it into hope. perspective. <laughs> 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 OK, cool. So when people say where is home, because you're travelling with, you know, Disney mm -hmm. a lot, where is home? Home so, is Austria. So it is Austria? Yes, yeah. Yes, OK, I, cool. I Do you get it. to go there very often? Not very often, but it makes me appreciate it even more when I go home. Yeah, what a beautiful spot. Yeah. D was joining the cast of Disney on Ice like an ambition for you? Yes. Um, I always wanted to be on Disney on Ice, now I am, so that's my dream. And how hard is it to get in? I assume thousands of people audition. Yes. What's that process like? Um, you normally have to go through an audition on the ice, so that's a lot of pressure. Um, but I'm sure if you keep on practicing and yeah, keep it up, yeah. there's I guess, a chance for everyone. And I guess if you've, you've competed at World Champions and things, you've got an idea at Championships of what you know you, you really have to perform under that pressure. Yes. Um, what about fitness? How important is it to stay fit for being in Disney on Ice? <laughs> uh, really important because, as you see, our job is um, is kind of being an athlete, mm. so we got to stay fit. Um, it's very important um, to look after your nutrition and to also on your days off stay like keep on moving and yeah, so it's and not just the ice skating, is it? You're doing other things to stay fit as well. Yes, I'm of course. I'm always fascinated by yes, this. You can't yes, just yes. go out there and skate, but you have to do other things as well. Yes. Of well, no, course. it's a big responsibility, isn't it? Because children absolutely love Disney on ice. I know there yes. are there are children counting down to when you guys hit <laughs> the ice here in New Zealand. How big is this production? The biggest I've heard so far. Tell us more about it. How many characters have we got? Where are they all coming from? So the show is called Hundred Years of Magic, and we have over 50 characters wow. and that means like 14 different uh, Disney tales and on this show uh, there are many many things for also like little boys so we have Toy Story and The Lion King. Oh, so, awesome. Yes. And you've got like Frozen's in there as well, Funny Nemo, all of these ones? Yes, with all the great songs, oh, like Let It Go and Hakuna Matata. Mike loves, Mike loves Let It Go. And you've got a bit of a sing-along as well? Oh, maybe you want to sing. No, I don't think so. Yes, he does. Thanks, Tina. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm going to say, but when I'm coming to watch idea. you. And so, so if we come along and we bring our children, we can sing along to some of the songs as well, because they of all course. know them, don't they? Yes, and that is the best part for us performers to see the kids singing along, dancing, dressing up. And having done the show, have you noticed that there is a favourite character or do they treat, do the children treat every character the same? Like, do you, is there a bigger role for a particular... I think for sure kids have their favourite characters. Yeah. And it also depends on where you go. There are like, yeah, some cities that like Belmore and some cities like um, Jessie more. Yeah. So when you're in New Zealand, how many Bells or Elsas are you expecting to see in the audience? Is there going to be an oh, equal cute. ratio or do you reckon there might be more Elsas, more Bells? Well, I would say it's good to that we, we have a variety of like the classic Disney stories. Also like coming up to the like more modern stories like Frozen. So I think you can see like an equal amount of both. 
And, and how does it actually work? So is there somebody that narrates it, you know, or do you just, is there a story within the stories or do you just come out and do a segment and is there singing? How does it all work? No, we try to like show the whole story right. in kind of put it a little bit together. Because right, so 100 years of Disney in a yes, story. Yes, yes. So it does flow. And do you guys sing as well as skate? Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, yeah. no. That would be extremely difficult. <laughs> yeah, very hard to cast that one. Yeah. I can't even walk and, and sing or, or talk at the same time, so I can't even imagine what skating and singing would be like. Um, hey, well, thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Always Fantastic fun. show. Thank you. Disney on Ice celebrates 100 years of magic is on in Auckland until Sunday, and then in Christchurch from next Friday, you can check out the Disney on Ice website for ticket details. Yeah, there are a lot of children just waiting for that show to come. And they can go along, watch and sing and enjoy. Have fun.